Life in the big city comes with compromise. You might have to live in a smaller space because everyone wants to be there. And that means the backyard or your courtyard gets shrunk down as well. But just because it's a little space doesn't mean you can't be big with your ambitions. It just means you've got to fit it in to a smaller space, like this one. But even if you're not building a garden from scratch, there's a heap of ideas here that you could use at your place this weekend. Wow, nice gate and beautiful garden. Wow, how cool is this aloe? When you're working with a smallish courtyard, and this is seven metres by five metres, you want to make sure you've got plenty of usable space. But one of the tricks to make it more inviting is to add bigger garden beds than what you think. And that's exactly what they've done here. When it comes to materials, the smaller the courtyard, the better, because your money goes further and you can buy better materials. The sandstone on this wall is stunning and the travertine on the floor is fantastic. What I like about these two materials is they look great when they first go down, but then they age and they tell a story as they get older. Rather than dating, they look like they've been here forever. The gate that I walked in through when it's closed looks like a permanent fence rather than an entryway. It means one less thing to look at and the old timber, it gives this garden a sense of history. In a small space, you might think you want the biggest dance floor possible, having it all on the one plane, but actually having level changes like these raised garden beds and the stone wall behind me, which were all purely created for aesthetics, give you a couple of advantages. You've got height changes and level changes, so you've got points of interest. Plus, you can work on your drainage, which means you can bring in some premium soil and have a better garden. Now, if you're heading off to buy plants this weekend, the thought behind the plant selection in this garden is something that you should keep in mind. So what do you plant in a small courtyard? Well, it really depends on your conditions. Here you've got three storeys of units plus the shade of the next door neighbour's tree. So your window for sunlight is about this big, and when you get it, it's in the middle of the day, so it's going to be really harsh. So trying to have a flowering garden is near impossible. But if you still want colour, you can achieve it, and well, using ornamental plants that have the colour in their leaves, like these gingers are variegated, so you've got that splash of yellow. You've got these xanadus, which have got this amazing shape to the leaf, so a point of interest. You've got these calatheas. You can see the pattern on the top, plus the beautiful purple on the underside, which you're going to see when you're sitting down. Philodendrons, just beautiful, lush, big leaves and those red, purpley stems. And probably the most popular indoor plant in Australia at the moment is the fiddle leaf fig. And there's one in the corner here. They're quite expensive to buy, but it's a real asset, and that one's doing extremely well. Keep the water up to this garden, and it will be such a beautiful, lush space, and look even better than this as it gets older. So if you're thinking about living in a unit, maybe think about the ground floor, because I look at this as a massive asset.